morning, chill ladies, my name is Rex and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2! There's a new thing in this game that I didn't know that I could actually do. Well, it's not a new thing, it was always there. I just didn't know I could actually do it, so we're gonna go a little old earthy pal. Actually, let's slow you down. Let's slow you way down. There you go. If you click on a planet, and that you're still going too fast, you fucking relax. If you click on a planet and press C, you can go down to the surface of the planet in first person mode. How freaky is that? There's the sun over there. Hey, sun buddy. We don't have actually have an atmosphere though. We're we're on the surface, but we're not seeing like the blue sky. We're seeing space and all its huge glory. And it's kind of scary. And I think we might actually be massive as well. Also, you can still see the lines of where all the planets are. But what this is going to allow me to do is you still need to slow down. You're going too fast, you crazy bitch. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to go down to Ireland. Can can I actually go to Ireland? Ah, plonk. I don't even think I landed on a country. Okay, see, it's not accurate, because I don't know where I am. Yes! I'm on Ireland. Freaking sweet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power. Power, and we're going to launch something at this. Launch something at this bad boy. Actually, I need... I need asteroids and shit. Minor. There we go. No! No! Not minor fucking Pluto. Where's where's the, the other shit? You know what? We're just going to fire the moon at it. Um, Go! Yeah, there we go, and I'm gonna zoom right in and go exactly where the moon is because then I should be able to just look up and see it There it is coming for us That's actually terrifying. This is basically the plot of Majora's Mask, isn't it? In Majora's Mask, you have three days to stop the moon crashing into Earth. And you have to keep resetting the days. Okay, let's speed it up a small bit So the moon comes right down on top of us. Is that actually gonna hit where I am? It should. I'm not sure though. Here we go. Oh, no. It's actually coming this way. And now it's gonna go somewhere else. Crash into me! I kind of didn't factor in Earth rotation, did I? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Why would I? I'm a whale biologist, not a fucking space biologist. <laughs> oh, yes. It's actually coming right down from where we are. Okay, let's slow it way down. So this is 25 seconds per second. So every second that passes is actually 25 seconds. So it's close enough to real time. By close enough, I mean not that close, but still closer than a day a second. That is so cool. So this is one second per second. So this is basically real time. Well, it's 1.02. It's a little bit faster than real time, but calm down. You're not going to change the fucking year like that. So this is real time. That's what it would look like if the moon was just sitting there. Ready to come straight for our asses. I don't know if I can actually, like, change shit, though. Um... I can change the mass of it and the surface temperature and everything. But I don't know if I, if I can change much that's gonna... Ch well, I guess changing the size of it would change a whole lot. How many... How speed are you going? You're going 21 kilometers a second? Oh, that is scary! That's 28 seconds per second. It's like half a minute per second. And that's still super fast! Are you gonna collide? Are you gonna collide and kill us all? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause and come back out. Oh, holy fucking crap. I'm gonna- I'm gonna come down onto the earth, right underneath it. Can I look up and see it? Oh my god! That would be so fucking scary in real life! Ah! Boom, baby! <laughs> yeah! Look at all those fragments. Thousands of them! Actually, there's only like 30. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Okay, so can I speed up again, then, to see what would happen to earth anyway? Oh, look at that! The old spiral out. Are you going to come back and hit Earth anyway? So, now that everybody on the Earth is dead, you, me, Steve, Billy, er, screw you, Billy! Everybody's dead! The whole of Earth is a big melting pot, a big kiln. Can I actually see the surface temperature? And surface temperature. It's 4,700 degrees Celsius. So, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You guys are going to have to figure. Oh, wait. Kelvin? No. There's only Celsius and Kelvin. Ha! Get wrecked, Fahrenheit people. And I don't know how long it would take. I don't know how many fucking thousands of years it would take to actually do this, so what I can do is just turn this to 20 degrees Celsius. There we go! The Earth is the moon now. What the fuck? Sweet! So you can see the Earth reform itself into new continents and new, like, plate tectonics and everything. That's badass! That's such a cool simulation, so it should be much different. This is a simulation of what it would be like, a, a new... A new apocalypse event, or a new, what did you call them? 
A something event. An extinction event. That's what it is. Okay, so we speed your way up. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot less landmass here now. There's a big chunk of it there. Everything's all messed up. But then again, it is right after it's just after happening. So, took millions and millions and billions of years to get the way we are now. Ireland wasn't always here. It was attached to England in its little cubby hole next to it. We were the little spoon. And then that was attached to like mainland Europe. And everything was all smushed together into a big giant one singular continent called Pangaea. And then it all split up and messed up and went away. And Ireland's probably going to drift in a million years all the way over to America. And it'll be easier then. It won't cost me so much to fly over to conventions. Okay. We're going two years a second, so we're just gonna let it floom, 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 spin around. Everybody's having a mad rave techno remix party down there right now. You see, everything is forming into different continents now. Sweet! I wonder, did we mess up our... Oh god. Did we mess up our... Orbit? It's then on the surface of the sun. Good god. <laughs> this is what it's like to be standing on a frying pan when you're an ant. <laughs> A frying pan covered in oil that's really, really hot. On full heat. On full blast. Okay, that's kind of boring actually. Let's land on something else. Let's land on Mercury. And see what it's like to be so close to the sun. Wait, how fast are you moving? Okay, you're not moving that fast. That's good. Where's the sun? See? Like, that's the closest planet to the sun. And yet we're still so fucking far away. Standing on Mercury would melt you into a little tiny puddle of flesh. Um, but... Actually, it'll probably just evaporate you. I don't know, what's the surface temperature of Mercury? Uh, 176 degrees Celsius. Yeah, you'd be a puddle of your own filth. Which sounds disgusting, but still. Um, but yeah, that's the closest planet to the sun. But yet, you're still fucking miles away from it. Let's go to power and let's launch something at the, at the Earth again. But it's gonna be a sun this time. So... Badoosh! Oh, yeah! There we go. That's what I'm fucking looking for. Except this is gonna fuck up all the gravity. Why did you go out the far side of Earth? I'm confused. Um, let's unpause and see what happens. Oh! Oh! The Earth is getting like a smoke or an evaporation trail. The Earth is turning into a comet. Because all the water is evaporating off it. Um, we're gonna have to slow you way down though. 30 minutes per second? No. We're gonna have to slow you way, way, way down. So let's go to the surface of the Earth. I don't think you move with the... Wherever you land on the Earth, it's not like you land on a part of the ocean and you fly around with it. The Earth moves independent of you. Oh, God. That's six minutes a second. Actually, let's try and get it down to one second per second. Again. Well, close enough to it. That's milliseconds. No. We need to go much higher. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we are fucked, dudes. We are so boned right now. Wait, let's see if we can find the perfect trajectory of the sun and then zoom right in and C. Pressing C is how you get out of the planet, by the way. I didn't say that. I'm gonna get like a side profile of this so it doesn't come right down on my face. Even though it doesn't matter where you are, it's still gonna come right down on top of you because the sun is so much bigger. <laughs> Everywhere you go, always take the weather with you. <laughs> Everywhere you go on the earth, you're f fucking boned anyway. <clears throat> You'd all be dead by now anyway. The sun would just be heating everything up. Way faster! Oh, jeez. And this is only a minute a second. That is so scary. There's something very humbling about seeing something massive coming at you like that. Ah, penis jokes, I know. Oh, God. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Boom! There was no boom because you just got sucked straight into the sun. There was, there was nothing else. Can we go onto the surface of you? No, I don't want to. <laughs> this is how you make art. This is how you make art and you play God. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, we should not give Jack the ability to be God in our solar system because he'll kill us all. Well, yeah. You don't even need to do that. Playing Plague Inc, I already kill you all. Just with a plague. <laughs> okay, no, you guys are going to collide eventually. Because the, the orbits are getting weirder. Mercury doesn't know what it's doing. Look at this. <laughs> Poor Mercury, man. Oh, Saturn and Jupiter are in the fray. Jupiter's gravity is going to mess everything up again. Bye, Mercury! Mercury is out of there! Mercury is a home fucking run right now. Oh, it's getting smaller. It's getting much smaller. I don't know if it's going to keep going like that or it'll eventually collide. I don't know if it'll eventually collide. Again, I don't know the science of everything perfectly, but we're going to wait for Jupiter to come back in anyway, because he's going to come in. He's going to have his own gravitational pull. He might mess these guys up. Oh, Jupiter's gone. 
See you later, buddy! It was good knowing you. Venus, Saturn, and Mercury are gone as well. And all you have to do is add two suns. Look at this! In a good garden, I Joe. I did it a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Garden, I Joe. But I did it, God, God, oh. <laughs> I don't know the fucking words. <laughs> okay, if we have the Earth and many moons, which everyone's fucking colliding already. Good God. Relax, will ye? Christ. Everybody's colliding. I wanted to merge with Jesus, which with each other. Jesus, it's where I was drunk. <laughs> it's it's like a dance. It's like all the attractive people get with each other already. Okay, something hit us. Oh, Jesus, something left a big rash in our arse. Something else is gonna hit us soon. Oh, God, that was an extinction event, really? Well, I'm, I'm assuming so. Look how close that guy is. Jesus! There's a big looming shadow. <laughs> that is terrifying. This game is very humbling. It makes you realize how small you are and how fragile our little tiny planet really is. Oh, God, this guy is gonna hit us soon. Oh, Jesus, that is scary. <laughs> I want to wait. I want to do something where I add a bunch of Earths. So, um, what would be the perfect one to do? Earth and Moon. I'll just do Earth and Moon, and I want to add a bunch of Earths and see what happens with them. Add Earth, 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 Earth. Okay, you're all colliding with each other up there. Perfect. Oh God, there's a bunch of fragments and a bunch of Earths. These Earths are all gonna collide with each other. Do it! Do it! Do it! Ye motherfuckers! Where's the original? Okay, he's right here. No, that's not him. Okay, our own Earth is messed up. He's gone. I'm just gonna add a bunch of them all around. All around from Chinatown. Because they, they'll eventually start merging with each other and some of them will get bigger. Okay, let's just add a bunch up here. <laughs> Look at them all merged together! How big are you right now? I don't- I don't know. You're not that big! I thought merging a bunch of Earths together would make you huge. Oh, here's something I want to try now. The Jupiter in between two suns. So I want to go kind of like real time and go down onto Jupiter. Um, oh god, there's a lot of stuff ejecting off Jupiter. Wait, maybe if I go like right down on top of it, then I can see both at the same time. There's a sun over there and a sun over there. It's just like fucking Star Wars, man. Let's go a minute, five minutes per second. That is spinning quite fucking fast. It's awesome, I love space! Oh wait, there's an Earth in between two suns model. They're miles away, though. I guess they'd have to be closer to Jupiter, maybe because of the size of it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get that. So, let's go down onto the surface of the Earth. Let's look over at the Sun. That's still fucking off over there. That's not as close. That's not as intimidating. I mean, it's weird to look up and go, Oh! Sun's rising. Sun's rising. There's no nighttime. But... <laughs> Well, there is, but it's- I, I don't know how long it is. I, I wish I knew that, actually. I wish I knew how long this sliver of night actually was. Okay, so it's coming across Ireland. One... It's not even an hour. It's not even an hour of nighttime that that little sliver is, because we're going an, an, an hour a second, basically. So you can see the speed as it's moving across the... the ground. So every time that that passes something, that's like an hour passing. That's, that's not even landing a second on each part of the land. So that's... that's not enough nighttime. I need more than that. I need I need to say actually no, I don't need to sleep. Sleep is for the week! But anyway, that does it for this video on Universe Sandbox. I don't know if I'm gonna make more. I don't know what else there is to do in the game. The only reason I made this one is because I found out that you could go into like first person and see things colliding into the earth, which is pretty damn cool. I really like that. This is a bunch of suns, apparently. But there's a load of moons as well. And they're gonna you guys are gonna collide soon because you have a huge gravitational pull. And this guy's a little tiny. This is our sun, and this is serious. Which I think is the next biggest one that we know of. I don't fucking take that true. I don't know if that's true at all. I don't know, but Sirius is one of the more popular ones that we know about. Because I remember hearing about that before. Again, don't take my science as fact in these videos. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi, boys, all right! Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Start in China. There we go. Okay, we should wait for these bubbles to pop up then. My ass begins in China. <laughs> now you know why. My ass has infected its first human. That's why I call it my ass. Oh, that, that must be your son, because I don't have any children. That's not my son. <laughs> Top of the morning, ladies. My name is Rex and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. There's a new thing in this game that I didn't know that I could actually do. Well, it's not a new thing, it was always there. I just didn't know I could actually do it. So, we're gonna go on a little earthy pal. Actually, let's slow you down. Let's slow you way down. 
There you go. If you click on a planet, and that you're still going too fast, you fucking relax. You click on a planet and press C, you can go down to the surface of the planet in first person mode. How freaky is that? There's the sun over there, into me! I kind of didn't factor in Earth rotation, did I? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Why would I? I'm a whale biologist, not a fucking space biologist. <laughs> oh, yes. It's actually coming right down from where we are. Okay, let's slow it way down. So this is 25 seconds per second. So every second that passes is actually 25 seconds. So it's close enough to real time. And by close enough, I mean not that close, but still closer than a day a second. That is so cool. So this is one second per second. So this- Hey, sun buddy! We don't have- actually have an atmosphere though. We're- we're on the surface, but we're not seeing like the blue sky. We're seeing space and all its huge glory. And it's kind of scary. And I think we might actually be massive as well. Also, you can still see the lines of where all the planets are. But what this is gonna allow me to do is- You still need to slow down. You're going too fast, you crazy bitch. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go down to Ireland. Can- can I actually go to Ireland? Ah. Plonk? I don't even think I landed on a country. Okay, see, it's not accurate, because I don't know where I am. Yes! I'm on Ireland. Freaking sweet. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to power. Power, and we're going to launch something at this. Launch something at this bad boy. Actually, I need... I need asteroids and shit. Minor. There we go. No! No! Not minor fucking Pluto. Where's, where's the, the other shit? You know what? We're just gonna fire the moon at it. Um, go! Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna zoom right in and go exactly where the moon is, because then I should be able to just look up and see it. There it is! Coming for us! That's actually terrifying. This is basically the plot of Majora's Mask, isn't it? In Majora's Mask, you have three days to stop the moon crashing into Earth. You have to keep resetting the days. Okay, let's speed it up a small bit. So the moon comes right down on top of us. Is that actually gonna hit where I am? It should. I'm not sure though. Here we go. Oh no, it's actually coming this way. And now it's gonna go somewhere else. Crash!